One question we get asked a lot in Adaptable for AG Grid, or AG Grid extension, and we're anticipating we'll also be asked in Adaptable for Infinite, that's um, our extension for Infinite Table for React, which is going to be released in the next few weeks, is um, when screen estate is at a minimum, whether it's possible, say, to get rid of this dashboard um, top altogether, this header here, and for instance, to put the application name down here. Can you do that? Um, you can do it in Adaptable for AG Grid, but in fact, the way you do it in Adaptable for Infinite, I think is even more flexible because essentially um, the dashboard in um, Adaptable for Infinite is four sections. It's at the top, um, the same as AG Grid. It's at the bottom, what we call there the status bar. It's now available down the left-hand side and down the right, what we used to call tool panels. So for instance, let's say we want to get rid of this top bar here and put all of the items in the other locations. We can do that very easily. So we go into UI settings and first of all, we'll get rid of everything from the top. And now you can see that that's gone. And then on the left hand side, we've currently got the theme. So why don't we, for instance, also add styled cell on the right hand side? We've got some tabs. Let's remove that. But instead, let's put um, I don't know, let's put a button, say, for the settings panel and a button to open the dashboard. And then at the bottom, we've currently got these total rows. And you can see that in each of these four sections, top, bottom, left and right, you can put any widget into any of three sections. Currently, we've got row count here. But let's, for instance, also um, add the quick search to that. And then let's um, put our view selector in the center. So that's now appearing here. And finally, as per the title of this video, let's put the application name here now at the bottom. So you can see here we've added a, um, we've taken the top panel out altogether. On the bottom, we've added all these widgets, as you can see. On the left, we've got a couple of buttons and on the right. And obviously you can move things from section to section. So I can put the dashboard here at the end and now it appears down here. And if I go to the left, for instance, I can put styled cell if I wanted to in the middle and it appears here or again at the end and it appears here. There's a whole lot more we can discuss around the dashboard because we've also got the ability to add tabs and toolbars but that's really the subject for another video but for the moment we just wanted to show how you have four sections top bottom left and right and in each of them you can put whatever widgets and um, buttons and items you want including of course custom um, buttons and toolbars and tabs that you provide. If you would like to learn more about Adaptable for Infinite Table for React, um, please get in touch. We'll be delighted to give you a personalised demo or indeed to provide you with a free, no obligation trial licence. Thank you for watching.